along the banks of the Monongahela River. We're in Morgantown, West Virginia to witness this exciting matchup. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Straw is lined up to kick this one off, and you can feel the thunder in the crowd as they await the start of this game. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Allen's a guy that's proven to his coaching staff. Doesn't matter if he's on the road or if he's at home. He's a complete player no matter where he's playing a football game. Yeah, I think they know that they can count on him when he gets on the road and gets in this kind of tough environment because I think he has so much confidence in his skills. He can catch the ball. He can run the ball. He seems to do it all, and you're right. He seems to be the same guy whether he's playing at home or on the road. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. First and ten, ball on their own 45. And he's taken down at the 47. Nice blocking on the counter, and he was able to pick up around eight yards. That makes it second and two. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. They bring him down. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From their own 47-yard line, third down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Thompson awaits the snap. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Nice run there. Nice gain of around seven yards on that delay. Second and three coming up here. Ball on the 27. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready, ready. Here's a little draw play. He makes it to the 28-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That'll bring up 32. Tighten up, tighten up. Pull together. Mike 41. That close to being intercepted. It's an intelligent play by the defender. All you have to do sometimes is get your hand on the ball. Singleton is back awaiting the punt. Oh, excellent punt. He's taken down at the 49. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line, it's second down. Takes a hand off, tackled for a loss.
might not be able to get the pass off. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. White awaiting the return. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He's got it with room to run. He steps out at the 30. Fox gains about a yard with a short completion. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. You ain't going nowhere. Like 41. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. False start. Offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. From their own 29-yard line, it's third down. Here we go. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Number two, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Straw is the punter. Singleton fields at the 29, and down he goes at the 41. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Well, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Gains his way to midfield. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So he got a few yards on that carry. If you can continue to pick up small chunks of yards like that, you can really start to wear a defense down. down around the 35 yard line That's a game on the that makes it second and two. it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks he laterals makes it to the 27 the options one of the more difficult plays to defend the defense went after the quarterback which left the running back with plenty of room Some daylight gets out to around the 18. That's a deal. That brings up second and down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. This is the eighth play of this drive. Wants to throw outside. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown.
and he adds the extra point. It was an eight-play, 58-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Thompson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Nittany Lions are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Right? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on, and what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? That's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down like this. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. Got it to his man on the screen. He's taken down at the 28-yard line. That makes it And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. He's going to go for the home run. Incomplete. Almost picked off. That brings us fourth and seven. He's tackled at the 38. Decent effort. He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Penn State is up by a touchdown. And down he goes at about the 37-yard line. from their own 37-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 36. One's incomplete. White is back deep to return. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. They'll bring him down at the 26. The Nittany Lions have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They run it left. He's tackled right around the 34. Second and two. Ball on their own 34. Here we go. They go to the left for a nice game. He fights forward to about the 40. Second down and nine to go. Ball on their own 40. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down at the 49-yard line. He 
He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And he's hit immediately. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. There are three quarters remaining. Penn State's lead is a touchdown. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Penn State is up a score. Nice run up the middle. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 25. They'll get him for a loss. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. <laughs> Allen gets it on the inside. And they'll bring him down behind the line. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave him no chance to get the first. Thompson to punt. He gets it away. And this is a really nice punt. White fields it at the 37. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tackled for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Second and 13. Ball on the 46. 41's coming. 41 the mic. Makes it out to about the 43. That's good for a game of 11 yards. That'll bring up third and two. This was a nice play. A delayed handoff to the halfback, and he was able to barely get enough yards for the first down. From the 40-yard line, first down. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Uh -huh. 
He lets it go. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. That makes it fourth and four. Kicks away. And he got it. You know, I was wondering if he's going to get a chance to kick one of those. We saw him warming up from 60 yards before the game. 7 3, Penn State. Strong is lined up to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Penn State staff, you, you've got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. I'm sure as they talk to, to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize their star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Penn State holds a four-point lead. Ready. Bring the and he's hit before he can go anywhere. Tailback brought down for a loss. Second and ten. Ball on their own 41. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. Number 15 makes the tackle at the 44 yard line. That makes it 37. it out to him again. Brought down in the open field. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. First and 10. Ball on the 46-yard line. Tackle at about the 43-yard line. He's at the 30, knocked out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Penn State is up by four. Close to being intercepted. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. Tenth play of the drive. Fires that quickly, incomplete. He led his wide receiver too far to the outside. Yeah, he just had to pull the string a little bit more there. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he splits the uprights. That one looked like cake for this kid. Chalk up three points for the offense. 
10-3, Penn State. He just drills this one. He's to the 20, and he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Tackle made at about the 31. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. On play action, he'll scramble. There he goes. Dives forward. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Here's the give. Tackled after a decent pickup. Brought down at the 41. From the 41 yard line. First down. He makes it to the 38 yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. He fights forward to about the 36. From the 36-yard line, third down. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. Good gain there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. This is the 10th play of this drive. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That is a huge letdown this time for the defense. They were all but off the field, and now they're wondering what just happened. Handoff to the right. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. And this is the 13th play of this drive. run there. Scrambling around. And down he goes at about the three-yard line. Now he's scrambling. 
And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. West Virginia to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both defenses really played well so far, Herbie. Well, up to this point, both defenses have dominated this football game. We'll see if they can hold on to that mentality the rest of the way. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. So at the end of the half, this one's all even at 10. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great, every great defense prides themselves prides themselves on tackle. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays. And try to limit those big plays. And when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals. And that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out. And, and that's what we're seeing today. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory, a want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need. Got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 22. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He unloads it, and it falls incomplete. They come out in an empty backfield. Here we go. And he tackles him hard at the 19. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He really got a hold of that one. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. A 
lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. They go to the left for a nice game. They're about four yards away here on second down. He's got an opening. And he's tackled at about the 37-yard line. And he hits him hard at the 35. From the 35-yard line, second down. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. Passes tipped away. Brett, this gives you an indication of his versatility. He's a physical linebacker that a lot of times is up trying to stuff the run. But he has ability to be able to make plays in space. And this time he climbs the ladder and knocks that ball away. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he just drilled it from long range. Penn State to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They'll get him for a loss. Loss of two yards on the play. Catches it, and that's all. Three, maybe four yards on the pass. You got to love the screen pass. Pretty good blocking in front, and it netted some decent yards. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. West Virginia is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie. I guess at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe to toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. A scoring drive the last time out for this offense, and they'll huddle up for this drive. Penn State has a three point lead. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. He's going left. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Mike 
and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. From the 41 yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 40. This is the eighth play of this drive. Penn State is up a field goal. Fires it out. Tackles around the 35-yard line. Well, he caught it, but it's almost no yards gain, and now it's fourth down. Give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. The kick is up. Not a very good attempt there by the kicker. So we'll change possession with a score, 13-10, Penn State. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's going to try and scramble. And they make the stop at about the 49. It's first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. Defense was playing run all the way right there, and it paid off for him. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. That'll make it fourth and six. Draw is the putter. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They're ready to begin another drive. Penn State holds a field goal lead. back he's pushed out of bounds right around the 30. we've got a first and 10 ball on their own 30. he's to the 40. he's at midfield tackle made around the 25 yard line Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Second and four. 
There's a strike complete. And that sets them up for the first and goal. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Penn State's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Gets it out in a hurry. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 46. Down at the 44. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down around the 34 yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And down he goes at the 34. the ball for a nice game. So at the end of the third quarter, Penn State leads 20 to 10. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. He dives, and he'll be marked down. First and 10, ball on the 23-yard line. They'll work the left. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. A good tackling safety is key for any defense, and if they can diagnose a play like this guy can, he can be a real menace. And this play is number eight on the drive. Roger, Roger. 41's coming. 41 the mic. Hustle run. Let's go. He's scrambling. He's got an opening. And now he's going to run. And he's tackled at the 12. From the 12-yard line, first down. Touchdown, West Virginia. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. Here's the extra point to draw within three points. 
He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A score here might effectively end this one. Penn State is up by three. Nice run there. That makes it second and six. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on their own 29. Fires out to his receiver, and he is drilled at the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Play. Take it down to the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Allen picks up about four yards on the play. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Here we go. He's out of bounds at the 39 yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. The defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Hands it off. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 43 yard line, second down. Off balance and they can't connect. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at about the 43 yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. Singleton back to return it. Oh, excellent punt. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Penn State has a three-point lead. Complete. He's got room. And he's taken down around the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run up the middle. 
That's good for a gain of seven yards. First down. Makes the grab and steps out right away. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. From the 47-yard line, first down. Good outside run there. Penn State is up a field goal. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Run play, and he'll lose yards. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Touchdown. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Penn State's been persistent, they've been relentless, they've been focused, at least in the fourth quarter they have. Yeah, just a team effort here. The defense has gotten the ball back, the offense is executing, giving them a chance. They still got a shot here to win this game. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That's great execution. Quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. From their own 34-yard line, first down. They'll bring him down at about the 35. They give to the tailback. Gets out to around the 45. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 45. Tackled after a decent pickup. That makes it second and six. Fires right side, got his tail back. Tackle around the 46 yard line. Third and long here. And for the defense, if they get a stop, they've got a great opportunity to help put this football game away. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes it out to about the 46. Fires to his receiver, first down. And he's level at the 33. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He's 
He's wrapped up for the sack. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Tenth play of the drive. They hook up over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 26-yard line. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Strong looks ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Throws complete and he's hit right away. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And they make the stop at the 39. Number one on the tackle at the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. He's hit and taken down. Quick strike to the receiver. Finds his back, and it's knocked loose. It's second and ten. Ball on the 46. He might not be able to get the pass off. This one's going deep to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defense is making great plays here late in the fourth quarter in a tie ball game. And the question now is which offense can rise to the occasion? He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter now, tie football game. And if we're headed to overtime, I hope it's going to be as good as what we've seen through four quarters. Under a minute left. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Tackle made at the 26. to scramble, but he's sacked. West Virginia will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. From their own 23-yard line, it's third down. This looks like their last shot to get it to the end zone. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. Back to the action here, and we get ready for overtime. Decent run here, right side. 
to deal with the final blow. That brings him second in the ball. From the 20 yard line, second down. Scrambling around. Brought down around the 16 yard line. First and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. End zone, touchdown. Great execution and a great way to start overtime. Now you put this thing in the hands of your defense. If they step up, you get the win. And he tacks on the extra point. the 25 yard line first down and he hits him hard at the 32 At the 18 yard line. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Touchdown, Penn State! Be tied with the extra point. And he hits the PAT. We've got a dandy here, folks. We're heading to overtime number two. First and ten. Ball on the 25. There's a strike complete. He's down. And he almost has the INT. They're about four yards away here on third down. To him again, complete, and down he goes, right around the two-yard line. This guy has that innate ability to get just Makes enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. They're packed in tight on the line. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Here 
Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. So here we go. It's third and goal from the four, and this would break the tie. He is drilled at the one-yard line. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Let's go! Takes the ball inside. Nice run to the left there. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. It's up, and he got it. And it's great having a kicker you can rely on in the clutch. Now they live to play another overtime. Both teams are dead tired, but one is going to outlast the other. This is looking like a classic in the making. From the 25-yard line, first down. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's taken down around the 28-yard line. Three-yard loss there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. the tailback. Nice run, and he's brought down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They'll spread the field with five wide. Steps up in the pocket, and they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. It's up, looks long enough, and he splits the uprights. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. And they get the sack. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 20. Makes his way out to about the 15. That's good for a 14 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Check, tight right, tight right, tight right. Check it out, check it out. Watch the team. Set, red 18. Red 18. Jim. 
just throws this one away. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. Kicks up, and it is good. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. This has just been an incredible game as we head to another overtime period. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25 yard line. Bring him down at the 25-yard line. Fires it out. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. They're going to try for the two-point conversion. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And they get the two. So that makes the lead eight here in overtime. How can these guys respond? Both teams have responded to each other very well so far in overtime. But this game has to end sometime. From the 25-yard line, it's first down, five wide. Makes the first down catch, breaks one, knocked out of bounds around the four-yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route, good protection, and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They come out in a goal line set. And he's tackled around the three-yard line. here they come out on an empty backfield Bumble! it's picked up by the defense there he goes and he takes it all the way two points Penn State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.